Hello, and welcome to anyone who may have stumbled upon this or who is returning. Today is when I'm going to be starting my little Total War Warhammer Wednesday thing I'm going to be doing where I just play some Total Warhammer because I'm a fan. Now, real quick, I'm going to... So, first off, I am playing very heavily modded, so... All sorts of fun extra lords. All sorts of fun stuff going on here. And as an extra fun little thing, I'm going to determine what exactly I'm going to do by random num number generator. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Alright, so... Wait, 19, 20, 21, Okay, good. I did have the right number. So, out of the, the number generator of 1, 2, 22, it rolled 18, so that's going to be what else. And I also had it... So, can I have it roll 1 from 1 to 7? And we're going to be playing as Providus Nyeth. Nyeth. It sounds like I'm saying nice with a lisp. Great. Anyways, let's... Ooh. I haven't played with this lord much, or at all, so... So this is going to be fun. Let's see, special waystone building that grants bonuses. Nice. Hero capacity. Nice. They can cast spells from their lords without unlocking them, which is interesting, but the discounts from spending the points is still going to be useful. And she starts with Arcane Conduit, which is also nice. So, for the first little playthrough for Warhammer Wednesday. We're going to be playing as the Wood Elves. Now let's get right on into it. And, yeah. Let's get down to business. But yeah, I do have a fairly somewhat imbalanced mod list with all sorts of fun little things going on. Some of them won't be incredibly relevant for this playthrough, but there will be some that will pop up now and then. One big one is a mod I have that raises the regen cap to 300% of their health. And while that doesn't immediately regen that much, that does make drawn out battles against regenerating characters more threatening. So Hydras are going to be more dangerous, as one example. Vampires in general. Okay. I think the Helped Abominations have their too horrible to die thing, which can also be pretty painful there. So it's going to add some extra fun to various things. Now, for future loading screens, loading screens, I am probably going to cut them out, trim them down, just to save that bit of time, but I'm only using this starting one here as just kind of explain what's, what, what the deal is, what the plan. What's the plan? All that. So, yeah. As was visible on the previous screen, but I didn't really bring much attention to it. I'm playing on Legendary Campaign, Very Hard Battle, Legendary Chaos Invasion, so... Max difficulty, because I need some way to, to balance out all these mods. Now, down to business. Alright, now, what do you start with? 
Okay. Spell singer of shadows, which unfortunate. Okay, cunning. So not the worst trait, because ambush chance is nice. Now. Yeah, the waste strikers are nice. That gives shadow dancers and glade captains. All right, trying to kind of get my bearings of what, what everything does since I haven't really touched wood elves in a while. But yeah, one mod I have is the I forget the exact name, but cross faction auxiliaries. It basically allows you to recruit units from f factions you have military alliances with if you build these buildings. So if I had an alliance with the Empire, a military alliance with the Empire, I'd be able to recruit these units if I built the building, and so on. Now, I probably won't be doing that because it's... I mainly use it for kind of fun theme stuff, like doing some Eternity King stuff as Malekith, and by recruiting High Elves and stuff and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna start... Okay, so if I can get trade agreements, that other building will be good, so let's see how friendly everyone is towards me. Torgavon. Yoink. Nope. Argolon. Hey, that's progress. There we go. Alright. No. One fun thing is that I also have the, I, forget, I think it's from Mitsu's Legendary Lords, the Blood Dragons are also added in, so some fun vampire friends there. And yeah, just all of the Bretonian dukedoms have their own Legendary Lords, and Paravon has a pretty insane faction mechanic, making all your knight lords start on Pegasus mounts, which is its own insane thing. But enough of that, I'm gonna start trying to focus down the Kadai line. I might take some turns now and then to do what needs to be done, but do any of the ones down here do research raid or anything? Probably not. They're all like... Yeah, no. Okay. Back to business. Okay, so first building... I will build this because it does the, the growth and gives those resources, so... That's that part of the plan. Now... Nyth. Nyth. I'm gonna have you head down here, have the sorceress join you, and the Skaven run away. Not surprising. Alright, this will be a battle that doesn't really have any lasting consequences of auto-resolving it. Don't lose any units, so an auto resolve just so I don't pad out the video time with a battle against the Skaven Trash Army. Alright, now for... Okay, so I do want to build... Can I recruit any fun friends? Okay, so that... Do do do. Guardian's nice. Talon of Kurnos is a very nice trait, so... Or... I'm gonna take the Talon so I ha have a someone who's a better immediate fighter. One mod I have that I've been using since Warhammer 1, not in the Giants only run, but in my casual runs, is Ash's 33 skills for Lords. It adds all sorts of just fun skills to 
dump points in that some of them are not as good. Like, bonus race large is nice, but can't really compete with stuff like upkeep, ammunition, range. Like, there are good ones, there are bad ones. And yeah, it's just a fun little mod. I also have three skill points per level with a skill dump that adds health points, although the that skill dump is, isn't on the character since they're a modded one that isn't covered by that mod, so... Now I'm going to start trying to get towards Quartermaster first for the upkeep reduction there. And from here I'm going to get post-battle loot since Whittles need it. Alright. Alright, don't have enough money to recruit anymore for now, so that's that. Alright, so that's turn one. Gonna make sure there's no one else I can make any fun deals with. You know, Dyth, I'm I'm willing to give you a little bit of gold for that. Nope. That's a shame. So, yeah, the point of this little Warhammer Wednesday thing I'm starting is just to have nice, fun times playing Total War Warhammer. And, yeah. That's about it. That's the plan. Now, it is gonna be not amazing for my income, but... I'm going to get rid of these Stagnites, and since I'm not the Sisters of Twilight, I'm going to get rid of the Hawk Riders since they're not as good in anyone else's faction. I'm going to get some more Leg Guards, just the normal ones, because they're cheaper upkeep. And let's see if Dyth is willing to trade. Yes! Might have been able to try and squeeze money out of him, but too late now. But the more important thing is, I have a trade deal now, and that's so uh, much gold. Alright, so... I could recruit an Eternal Guard, but... I'll probably end up getting rid of them eventually anyways, since... Yeah. So... I need to take a look at her skill tree, since... As established, I don't really know her deal. Okay, that's a Vortex spell. She gets Bound Ability. What her spell lore is basically just Lore of Heavens, but she gets Arc Greater Arcane Conduit. Othu the Owl gives Campaign Line of Sight, Interception Chance, and Ambush Defense. Okay. That's decent. That's also pretty nice. Okay, that gives her a little bonus to local armies, which is interesting. And... Okay, so... Honestly, her skills aren't the most incredible, but... But... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, she's definitely something, so... Yeah. Do I have any special... things going on in... here? Actually, so this is basically the same as... as... Okay. So getting a tree singer would be nice. And, yeah. Also, I do have the custom Lord Creation mod. I'm not going to be abusing it, but if anyone li would like to leave a comment down below and kind of let, let me know what they think about the Total War Warhammer Wednesday, I can kind of make a custom Lord named after them, maybe give them a 
trait they want. Have their stats go a certain way. I can't make the spell weavers because custom lord creation hasn't been updated to account for them, but yeah, I can make the treemen, the glade lords, and the female glade lords. So that's that. Okay, now that I do have the trade deal, it wouldn't, it might not be terrible to get that, but saving the slot for the Trapper's Den isn't the worst. Although I'd, yeah, I'll be able to afford it next turn, I think. Alright, so that turn has been going on long enough. Alright, now to build the... Oh right, it requires a Kindred, which, oh, that's going to take a while. I should have built the growth building first. Whoops. But that does give a bit of growth, so. Can I offer a Still messed up, but not as bad. Now, Deepwood Scouts, what big things do you have in, as an advantage? Same damage, same ammunition, but a little bit more range. Okay, so they have the same stats, so it's just going to compare these two. More leadership, more speed, worse in melee, but here. Their arm piercing damage is 4, they fire every 9.9 .9 seconds. Theirs is 7, so. Deepwood scouts do have a slight advantage in terms of range, but... I'm going to stay with Glade Guards. That's too many. Whoops. Alright. Oh, I should also check if there are any fun friends I can get here. Another Talon of Kronos one. I could get a Shadow Dancer and see what fun things they have, because one with Guardian is kind of nice. Lady of the Glade, at your service. Yeah, I'll take the Guardian. What do you need? But yeah, one fun thing about them is that you can kind of change their weapon by changing their mount. So, I think this is like normal sword or something mode, and then if you switch them to the spear mount, it changes them to a spear, and that lets you change them from being anti-infantry or anti-large. So, okay, so the sword has 120 armor piercing spear, ooh, a lot more, so... Now, they do get the Lore of Shadow, but they don't get Arcane Conduit. And they get just a decent little skill tree going on here. They are meant to be used alongside War Dancers and Blade Singers, so I am going to have them focus towards an army focused around them later, but the Guardian trade is pretty useful, so... That's kind of my main justification there. Any deals to make? Nope, no deals. Alright, so after I finish recruiting stuff for her army, I might attack the Skaven because I don't think Fester Spike is super developed. Oh, I need to drink some water. Proud daughter of Athel Lauren, the forest has spoken. Any anyone fun in the Waystalkers? Not really. Lady of the Glade, Hold on. Ooh. Ooh.
Here, what do the Talons of Kernos ones get? Because they're better for for a normal army, so I'm gonna get rid of the Guardian one because regen is very nice, and that's also faction wide growth. Both of which are pretty nice. Okay, so the spear is also a decrease to melee attack to for an increase in defense. But that massive increase in armor piercing damage can be pretty good. But for now we're gonna be going against Skaven, so we're gonna keep the higher melee attack and the higher just base damage. So that's kind of the plan so far. For now. Okay. Blade Lord, at your service. Okay, well, since Lady that hero showed up, that's delaying my plans a little bit, so... That's another time that we'll kind of go by here. Can I offer your orders are okay, I can still world roots after embedding the hero. Now the question is, how bad would it be if I get in intercepted there? I'm gonna pop over here so that I won't get just immediately intercepted by the garrison. The next turn I'll poke the settlement, see what's in it, and back off of if I need to. The regenerating Glade Captain is, uh, not Glade Captain, the Shadow Dan Dancer is pretty nice. And, yeah. yeah, that's this turn. So, actually I'm gonna see if anyone has any fun deals. Ooh, sweet. More trade. And more trade. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna pop down that hunting camp just so I can start getting some furs out there to trade. Just for that extra income while I'm here. Now, that's that turn. Okay. You called. I acquiesced to your request. Now, to see what's going on with these Skaven. Okay, they've got some decent stuff going on in that in the army in there I might be able to beat it with the archers I have if I fight them individually but now because of that agent there's a decent chance I'll fail this ambush but I'm gonna see if I can ambush Gaven Probably no one wants any deals, but I'm gonna ask her through for money just for fun. Well, no one wants to throw money at me. How rude of them. Are there any fun tree men in here? Okay, there's one that has the kind of net an ant of Amatoc type one. That one has the Actually that one's better with the an archery type of army. This one's better in a more melee focused army because of how it reaches the stats of enemies nearby. Anyone fun over here? Me. Whew. So he's Elo. You're the one I'm grabbing.
Yeah, okay, so. That, that, I'm gonna set him to be the tree singer for that fun stuff. And yeah, now I've got a fun little tree man to be my backup plan in case things go badly over here. So that should be the entire turn, so passing on. Another mod I have active is tier 4 minor settlements, although that is not relevant at all for Wood Elves, and so will only be something that is really only useful against me. You need me? Okay, let's... I might grab this one just because of the fleet-footed and being able to fire while moving. And then next turn I'm gonna have the tree come over and reinforce. I'm gonna have Knight go a little bit further out there to make him have to inconvenience himself a bit more to catch up. Although that wouldn't make the army tired. Yeah, no. Let's hope he falls for the ambush. No. Meanwhile, the tree is going to be doing its thing. But yeah, it would be wonderful if the staven fall for my ambush there, but... Not the most likely. Yeah. Yeah, no, they didn't fall for it. Their turn passed by, and... Ooh! War. Not much happened. Yeah, I'm going to have Knife pull out of there so that that stops being an issue. Now I'm going to put you in Knife's army. Because the tree singer, the tree singer is just going to be staying around here, here for a while and keep an eye, an eye on things. I might start raiding around here just to farm revolts, and ooh, it would cut into my income quite a bit. So, maybe not. If I stand outside the settlement, that might... Do I have any public order buildings going? There is that, but if I demolish it, I would also go broke, so... Alright. You... Ow. Ah. I'm gonna get some more ammo for you so that you can shoot more. Nah, I'm probably not gonna be able to farm a, a revolt, so. What am I supposed to do with you? Hey, you want to give me a gift? Ooh, yes you do. What about you, buddy? What about you, Ryan, old buddy, old pal, old friend? My boy? Nope. Well, that's a shame. Well, that's this turn. I might have had better luck if I fought that first battle manually and 
completely wiped out that Skaven army, but... Oh, hey, guilt might be... potentially more helpful than he realizes. As long as he doesn't take Fester Spike. Now, part of my little fun thing here is that I am going to be also doing longer content that I would normally plan on doing, so... I would like this to be more along the lines of an hour where a lot of... Wow, there goes my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Where with the RimWorld videos, I'll, I aim for more half an hour. I'll probably try and go more in the range of an hour here. Alright, now the scariest things they have. River Trolls. The Pump Wagon. Savage Orc Biggins. And Normal Orc Biggins. Night Goblin Archers. And if I auto resolve, I'd... Lose infantry I'm planning on getting rid of anyways, so... Yeah, just gonna do it just to get that done nice and quick, and there's a decent chance to lose units I would have rather not lost if I fought it manually. Out. Okay, so that's that. I've got a bit of gold now, but not enough to do anything really big. Okay, now let's grab a couple more Glade Guards. In terms of melee, it, it, they are a bit worse than the Internal Guards, I guess, but... Yeah. Okay, now let's get some more progress going here. Let's get the public order and growth going. Yeah. Now with you, let's... For now, make you a better melee fighter. Since you have regen, the extra armor, is, the extra health is gonna be even more impactful. So I'm gonna plan on making you kind of a tank. Also, I'm gonna kind of take note of that. Fleet-footed isn't really a one I'd keep, so I'm gonna take note of it, but still probably gonna disband them eventually. Anyone fun sitting around? Nope. Okay, that's a fun one, because it reduces the ammunition, but don't want to be recruiting too many. Yet. Alright, so... This has gone decently well so far. I think the other elves probably appreciate me... Nope, they don't appreciate the attack on the imaginary orcs. Okay, and I did get a tiny bit of forest health, but it doesn't really matter since it will be lowered by Fester Spike and the dwarves. Ooh, and they're they've got a pretty developed garrison there, so not going to be messing with them anytime soon. Oh, Harkon. You're... Are you Skaven, or... Just... Are they a consequence of your actions as you're going to Wissenland? But yeah, the first 
episode or two of a campaign will probably generally be a bit slower just because of how you need me? it takes a bit of time to stabilize and have everything ready. And yeah, there's some people who can probably do things a bit faster, but I'm not them. Simple as that. Right, now, Knife, I'm going to have you in camp so that you replenish your injured units faster. And then... We... Hmm. Okay, for now, let's toss you away so that I can get more money. Knife, go in the settlement. And let's grab the Glade Guards. Lord of the Glade. Okay. Now... The works of you. Anyone give me a presence? Nope. Nope. And finally... Alright, so that's the end of this turn. I don't think the Oak of Ages gives a quest to confederate the Shadow Dancer faction over near Kareza Karak, but the Masks of Loic, I think their faction is. Let's see, does it? Probably not, because they are a modded faction, but it would be wonderful if they did add a quest for that. Nope. At least not that's visible. Okay, now the Glade Captain has leveled up. Let's give you more ammo. And let's let you fire that stuff off faster. How can I assist you? Any fun heroes hiding out here? Nope. grab one just to kind of fill up the army and get the 20th unit to be something decently powerful. Aggressive is nice if they end up getting, getting caught in melee, while perceptive is nice for kind of potentially getting an item for the long run, but that's down to RNG, and that's a stat increase. So... Now, I realize it might be a little bit annoying seeing me ask everyone for gifts every turn, but the yeah, extra money's nice, so. Alright, that's this turn. Next turn, I'll see if I can start baiting out the Staven here. Alright, so, now that that's done and dealt with, the end turn that is, time for the fun to begin. Okay, let's... For now, let's do it this way, I'll grab... I'll finish off Pit of Shades, Earthing, and Ranking Conduit next level. The big thing is that I wanted to have the extra ones of magic for actually fighting the Staven. Okay, so he, he can reach about that, that far. I don't want to be caught in the underway because that's guaranteed death if you lose, so I'm going to be just out of his reach and maybe tempt him to come over. So, that's that idea. 
Now I'm missing out on the income boosting from the heroes, so... Basically, I've got to hope this works. If I'm raiding kind of outside of his reach, that will, for one thing, kind of help with the income issues. And help in potentially baiting them out while making the people who hate him friendlier towards me, so... Making my way. If that here wasn't blocking me from moving further. But I believe this is out of the way, so... Let's continue making the regenerator tank here. Alright. Now. Sadly, that this turn, that's this turn dealt with, I believe. Unless anything else pops up. Lord of Athelorin, the woods of Athelorin welcome. Ashkaros, Sanden, Athelorin, Kratas, Ula. Lord, I welcome you to the king. Hey, Orion, you a fan of me raiding these rats? I mean, you are. Probably, but. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, Harkon. I'm assuming you may have lost Harkon's army to Wissenland. I could potentially wipe out these two armies, get the experience, and march on the Blood Keep. And I might actually do that. Skaven are a nice target, but let's fight some vampires instead. Now, I did say I was going to give you guys at least one manually fought battle, so... Let's make this that. Alright, time for business. Okay, so this is... A really flat map. Let's... Do you get that Wind's Magic bonus in the forest? Yes, you do. Do you? Yep. Alright, now you are the tank. Okay, you two kind of have your own abilities, so I'm going to have everyone kind of separate. Okay, so they can't fire while moving, can't, okay, they, wait, hold on, oh, they can. Do they have any fast units? I might have the Deepwood Scouts and the Waystalkers kind of harass the enemy initially. You can also fire while moving, so all of you are going to kind of initially harass the enemy. Heroes, focus fire on the Lord to get some extra damage on him. Then when the enemies get close, everyone start moving a bit further back. Already taken out a unit of skeleton warriors, so that's fun.
And yeah, this was going to be a decisive victory, but sometimes it's fun to fight them. And just watch what's going to happen. Now, because as I said near the beginning of the video there, I do have a mod that increases the regen cap, so the vampire lords are the biggest threats here. If I can disintegrate any units, that will be best so that I can take them completely out of the way. Oh dear. Okay, good. He did get a charge in, but he didn't get too much damage off, so. Okay, position more so that you can, you're aiming towards the front. Oh. Okay, come a bit more this way. Not sure if that's the second army or just the rest of the first army, but more enemies to kill here. I do realize that these aren't the best spells I'm using, but these enemies don't really call for super advanced good position of, like, Penumbral Pendulum and that stuff. Pit of Shades. Granted, those aren't the best spells I get, but those are the best spells out of the spells my two wizards have. So. Alright, now you three go and shoot those zombies a tiny bit. Kind of set up up here. Pit of Shades has the most range and can actually reach to about here, so... Uh, okay, Pen Pendulum has the same range, so... Also, good to know. Okay, you're the one who has the other arrow of Kronos. So... Pew pew, fire your arrows. Okay, in terms of your arrows, you're out of normal arrows. You'd have to wait on your cooldown for the arrows of Kronos, but then you're going to be really out of anything ranged, so... That's enough for you, you've done good. I haven't named you, but I will eventually. It's not going to be the best use, but I'm getting a little impatient. And this battle's pretty much over anyways, to be blunt and completely honest. I'm going to charge in, just so there's a bit of fun going on. And of course, their lord's going to completely ignore. I do aim to the life wizard in this army as soon as I can recruit them. Okay, so that battle went well. Probably took only... Yeah, a couple of casualties from... Oh, from... Huh. I expected it to be from the Lord because of when he charged in, but... 
yeah, I guess the skeletons and zombies did catch up to me at one point, so. Huh. But yeah, that's some pretty easy experience for this army. Okay, and don't really need the casualty replenishment, so let's just get some extra money. Now, I might destroy the... Yeah, I'm going to destroy this building so that... Because, for one thing, I have reached the capacity for those, and... I don't want to build the growth building without sacrificing my income, no matter how small the, the building gives. And let's see, how much am I actually getting from all those furs? It, okay, so the building is really worth about 260, which pays for a couple of blade guards. So I'd say it's worth it. Actually, yeah, it pays for almost two, so. I'd say it's worth it, especially since now I'm going to make it notably cheaper. Okay, that gives me a bit more breathing room in terms of money. Now for you. Let's get that going. For you. Let's put a point here, and get some more range stuff going on for you. For you... This, this, and... Let's... Oh, good, that's melee attack and defense. Ooh. Which is useful with how they have the regen in them. I'm going to be sending them in melee a lot. I'm going to be giving them more ammo since that's where they kind of fell off last time. Okay, now for you. Have more ammo. Now, how much do I need to encamp? Ugh, 50. Seeking unseen path. So I'm going to move up here, and then get some replenishment. Oh! Avalorn has the Sword of Cain. Lovely. Oh, Talaris probably took it, brought it over there, and she beat him up. That's unfortunate for Talaris, if he's still alive at this point after that. I did get a young stash, so that's nice. And we've reached about an hour's. Well, at least before cutting out loading screen times, which there aren't a lot of. I might also cut out intern times, but those have been cut short, so. That'll be it for this episode. For anyone who watched, thank you for watching, and until next time, take it easy.